Hey everybody, Brian here. In the previous part of this series on putting together a computer at your home, we replaced the contact frame that was on the motherboard. We replaced it with a thermal right contact frame. We also put the CPU in place, the Intel i7-14700K. We applied the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut Thermal Paste to the CPU. And finally, we put the cooler in place, the Phantom Spirit Evo 120. So now we're ready to go put the four NVMe cards in place, the three Western Digital ones in the Samsung, as well as our memory. Our G Skills Trident Z5, 64 gigabytes. So let's start that step. Okay, now we're ready to install the memory modules. But I'm noticing one big problem. These fans are not going to allow the, at least the first module that's going to go into the A2 position to fit in. So I'm going to have to remove this one fan temporarily and put that back on later. It will only fit one way, so you can't get it wrong. Okay, so now we'll get this fan reconnected and we'll want it to be as low as we can make it, still giving the memory heatsink some room above it, maybe right about there. So there's a few millimeters between the memory top and the fan. The fan sticking up a little bit compared to the other fan by a few millimeters. Maybe I could lower that a little bit. Okay, the next step is we're going to install the four NVMe cards. So we remove these plates. This is a so-called single-sided NVMe. You might remember from the intro part of the video where we talked about the motherboard. We have these rubber pieces that we can add to help keep the NVMe card prevented from bending. We lock it in place. And then we do the same thing for the other slots. So we put in the three Western Digital cards. Samsung's also single-sided. Put on another one of these rubber pieces. And there we have it. We've installed the NVMe cards. Now the next step will be putting on the GPU. 